Hey guys, I'm Greg Webster, back at you. We got a really unique piece of equipment here today. It's a brand new Volvo all-electric lithium excavator. We're here to show you how it works and all the little intricacies of it. Oh wait, there's a gas line right there. <laughs> Okay, so just running through this once again here, you've got your lithium batteries here under the hood, your hydraulic filter. This is where you fill your hydraulic oil. Unlatching this latch right here gets you into your battery management system right here. So this right here is our battery management system right here that manages the three large lithium batteries in the back. Underneath is all your hydraulic valves that operate all your hydrostatics. We'll shut this puppy down, clip it up, shut this guy down, come on over here. You've got your battery disconnect switch right here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, right now the machine's idling. If I jump in it and hit the button, it'll run right now. I'm going to go ahead and turn the key off. So now it's off and now I shut the battery off. So now it's completely shut down. I just shut the machine off. So to turn it back on, let's say we're gonna hit the job in the morning. Just turn the kill switch on, the battery cutoff switch. You're commonly referred to as night switch. Shut that off. So I'm in the seat. I turn my key switch on right here, normal key. You see the TV screen lights up here. You know, she's awake. You got your time display. Now it wants me just to, it's telling you, press the button to start. That's this button right here. Now it's ready to go. I can see my battery levels at 89%. And once I put this lever down right here, the machine's ready to operate. It's beeping at me because it wants me to put my seatbelt on. It timed me out, so it wants me to lift this up and hit the button. So I hit the button again, the machine's ready to go right now. You can't really hear it, but it's just like any diesel engine's ready to go typical controls of any diesel. Now, this is on kind of like a slow mode, but if you come down here, you can give it more throttle. If you want to switch your control pattern, you hit that, and then you rock this switch, uh, you hit the button right there on top, and then you hit it again, and you're good to go. And then you hit escape to get out of there, escape, and you're ready to go. So if you hit this button right here, It'll switch to auxiliary. So now if you had a thumb or a breaker, you'd be, you'd be hammering right now. And if you want to do boom swing to dig up against a wall or something, then you hit that. You hit it one more time and it swaps to boom swing. You have your DC fast charge port right here. So what you need is 480 volts and a special power inverter and it'll charge in less than one hour. There's three ways to charge this puppy right here. One, you got your DC fast charger. That's obviously gonna be your fastest. Not a lot of people have one of those. What most people have is they have this 110 cord. 10 to 12 hours to charge, a full 100% charge. This guy right here is in about six hours to charge and it gets about four to six hours of runtime depending on the application. I had a guy building a wall with this thing. He was running it wide open, hard as he could, and it was six hours. So here's our charge port, as you can see, for the, the 110 or 220 charging. And there's your little cover for it. We got the cord here. I'm gonna plug it into the wall first. Bam, she's plugged in. You see the light turn on? You know you got sufficient power. Bam, she's all charged up, ready to go. I walk over here, plug it into the machine. Jump on the machine, I turn the key on. Lights flashing. Now it's asking me to press the charge button. I press the charge button and I just heard it click down here. There's a magnet in the cord that holds that cord into its socket. Do not try to pull the cord out while it's charging. To get it to stop charging, you turn the key off and you hit the charge button. Stop charge successful on the computer screen. Now you should be able to pull the cord out. Nope. I'm gonna turn the key back on, lets you know. Okay, 
Now I heard it release. You gotta turn the key back on after you stop charge to pull the cord out. If you get confused at all, just be sure to follow what it says to do on the screen. The screen will walk you through it. Do not try to pull the cord out if it's not letting you pull it out. What you need to do is, is follow what it's saying to do on the screen and then cycle the key and then it'll tell you what to do. Thanks for watching this how-to. If you have any questions, feel free to call us, like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. Brap. <laughs>